We're out here at another event, Ma 2017. This is our fourth year out here. We're, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of hot, but it's still beautiful. We're going to get some interviews. We're going to check out some cars. Check us out. I'm the killer. We're at Mod, and we're doing our very first interview. Can I get your name, sir? Mike. All right, Mike, tell me about your car behind me, man. Uh, it's a 2013 Evo 10 MR. Uh, I pretty much decided to go with a Baymax theme. Uh, that's why I have the number six on the side, and then I got my Instagram tag on the bottom with the little Baymax figurine in the front. Uh, mainly pretty much chose that because it's white. My son loves it, and she helped come up with the name for it. All right, so she's a big help over there? Yeah, she is, definitely. So why Baymax, though? Like, Baymax, Big Hero 6, like, I love the movie, don't get me wrong, but there's so many other characters in there you could have went with. I like Baymax just because he was kind of like the soft, gentle badass. So it was Wasabi. Yeah, but ba ba Baymax was better. All right, we're going to roll with Baymax. Okay, tell me about your purple wheels, man. The purple wheels is because of his uh, 2.0 suit. Because he has the um, the red suit, and then it has the purple hints. Uh, I didn't get to finish the car yet because I want to vinyl wrap it red in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to have the purple wheels to go along with that. Oh, that's going to look clean as fuck, man. That's going to look clean. So you're going to have a Baymax inflatable in front of your car? Uh, I was actually planning on getting a Baymax inflatable suit for me. And then I could just put it in front of the in the passenger seat or in the back seat. Maybe hanging out the uh, sunroof. Oh, that'd be dope as hell. That'd be dope as hell. So tell me what team you represent, man. Uh, I'm representing Team Empire. Uh, we're from the Central Valley, south of Fresno, near Hanford, Lemoore, Visalia area. So, so tell me about your crew, man. How long have you been with them, man? Uh, I've been with them for going on about two years now. Um, we got the president right there. He's got his Evo 9 and then Evo 8 right there. All right, we're doing our very first female interview. Can I get your name, miss? Marissa. Marissa. You put emphasis on that shit. So tell me about your car behind us, miss. All right, so I have a 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution and the color blue by you. Why the color blue? Well, I originally wanted a charcoal MR, uh, but this is the one that I settled for, and then I just fell in love. You just walk around settling for anything nowadays, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Women, you gotta elevate your life sometimes. But it's all good, it's all good. So if it wasn't blue, what color would you get? Uh, blue. No. Not pink? No, no. Turquoise? No. Sky blue? No. Yellow? No. Purple? No. Any other? You're going to hit me with that mic? No, I'm not, bro. I've been doing this for years. I'm not going to hit you with it. And if I do, just take it in the face. But it's all good. So if it wasn't a Mitsubishi, what would it be? A Mitsubishi. You didn't even listen to the damn question, did you, miss? Like, what is women these days? There's a, there's a reason why she's single, fellas. <laughs> Let her stay that fucking way. All by her damn self. All right. Now. What have you done to your car so far? Um, well, I j actually just finished my clutch today for mod. What kind of clutch do you have? I have a six spec clutch, stage two spec. What company makes it? Spec. Spec? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of them. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're missing out. No, I'm not. There you are. You know, there's so many, like, other better clutches, you know? There is. There, there, there's, there's always somebody better, but it's all good. I really don't say too much of nothing. So, what's your future plans with this? What's your next modification? My next modification is to go flex fuel. New injectors, new fuel pump. E85? Why? Because it tuning your car on E85 just makes it fly, and that's what I want. So you hate no 91, is that what you're saying? No. 
No, I actually love 87. Sometimes I sneak some in there. What the fuck? Like, she's going to blow up her car. Like, what women these days, they don't know how to drive. They don't know how to put gas in her car. Like, you know what? We're not even talking about that right now. We're not even talking about me. We're talking about you. Okay. So, I hear that you're a model. What's up with that? Yeah. I, well, I just started modeling on my car because, you know, she's so pretty. So, I thought I'd share that. So, you think you're going to be a very successful model? Um, I mean, I'm kind of getting out there. I have 1,500 followers on Instagram. I started off with 500. Well, you're a girl and, you know, you start wearing next to nothing, you're going to get more and more followers. Yeah, that actually turns out to be pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, because I'm smart. <laughs> All right, we're moving over to our very first vendor interview. Can I get your name, sir? I am Peter Ruza. Peter, come on, tell me about your company, man. Uh, well, we are PVR Motorsports. We're known for our carbon fiber front lips. Uh, our rally art style lip that you see on this car here, one of the most popular items. Um, we also do custom products like our LED fog lights and a polycarbonate AEM replacement cover so you can see through to, uh, to the filter. And uh, of course our slogan is performance, value and reliability. Okay, performance, value and reliability. Okay, so you got the performance part down, I see that. Now, how much, how, much are you, how, much, how much does it cost, man? Um, well, the Rally Art lip, we're talking about uh, five ninety nine normal price. Woo, man! Come on, what, what, what about two ninety nine, man? <laughs> we bargain that price? Uh, not, not that low. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we can talk about three ninety nine. Let's meet in the middle somewhere. Okay, reliability. Now, if, if for some reason it falls off and somebody runs over it, mm -hmm. is it gonna break or not? Absolutely. If you run, ah, oh, come on, man. Car carbon fiber, yep, absolutely. Someone runs over it, it will crack. Absolutely. Bro, you gotta have tougher <laughs> carbon fiber, man. You have to layer it like eight times, man. Yeah, that. Well, we're working on it. <laughs> so business is good. Business is good. Um, as you see, it's another uh, awesome day at Mitsubishi Owners Day in Catella on Cyprus. So it's uh, it's heating up real quick. Oh yeah, man, it's hot, man. Ooh, man, it's hot. I can't even believe it right now. So, any big plans for 2017? It's not over yet, man. Um, yeah, we're we're definitely looking at possibly doing a turbo upgrade, maybe running E85, and uh, looking at that ETS um, dump pipe. Okay. Down pipe where it dumps, so it's they got that race car sound, you know. All right, we're gonna check you out, man. to the premier sound, Rocks for Fosgate. Can I get your name, sir? Eric. Can I get your name, sir? Alden. Now tell me about Rocks for Fosgate, man. Well, we go way back. One of the leaders in the car audio industry. Uh, been around for 30 plus years. All kinds of cool things out there on the market nowadays. Okay, tell me about 2017, man. What came out? 2017, we got all kinds of new products coming out for Harley Davidson, for Polaris products, Yamaha. Uh, we got Ranger kits, we got uh, Razor kits, YXZ kits, new Harley stuff coming out here that was just released the other day. So uh, follow us on RockfordFosgate.com and on our uh, our YouTube page and you name it. All right, so you got sounds for Harleys now? Oh, yeah. Motorcycle. Can you even hear it like when you got your helmet on? Oh, yeah. You can definitely hear it. You can hear it. <laughs> like, who buys Harleys nowadays? Doesn't everybody have crotch rockets? Uh, we got a little bit of both. I mean, you know, there's a lot of Harley guys out there, and they, they like their sound. It's the new and up-and-coming thing. Okay, what is the biggest speaker you have? Right here, the 19s. Okay, what is the smallest speaker you have? A three and a half inch uh, two-way coaxial. All right, so you got all you got all everything. You got everything covered. We got all the sizes. <laughs> okay, I hear you starting to do a lot of stuff on the marine part, on the boats and stuff like that. Tell me about that a little bit. Oh yeah, we got a lot of OEM partners when it comes to boat manufacturers. We got a lot of aftermarket products, woofers, wake tower cans, uh, speakers for the interior of the boats. We got radios. We got stuff that even communicates with Ray Marine uh, navigation products. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. So tell me about Allen Ed's Auto Sound, man. What do you want to know? We got 14 locations. 
just doing nothing but custom work, motorsports, everything. So we you do it, it all? Everything. You do it all? Everything. We do it all. So are you are comparable as far as pricing? I would say so. All right. So what can I get for like 50 cents a pack of Skittles? I got to think about that one. All right, man. I'll not a, it for you. All right. Not a problem, man, because you know I'm, I'm going to be on the cheap end, but a little bit quality, but real cheap, though. You got something for me? We got something for everybody. Okay. Do you have any new locations near Lancaster? No, it'd be Thousand Oaks, Encino, Burbank. No, nah, no one close. Are you going to open up in Lancaster? Possible. All right, well, let's talk about it, man. I need some money, man. I can be a nice investor. Definitely. Let's do it. All right. All right. We're moving over to Endless DSM. Can I get your name, miss? Angela. Angela, tell me about your car behind me. Um, it's an 03 Evo. Um, it's got a built motor, built drivetrain. That's about it. That's about it? Nothing special? Um, nothing special. Just a built motor. <laughs> That's all. Okay. But why'd you choose an Evo? Better than a Subi. <laughs> Amen, sister. All right. So besides an Evo, what car would you get? Um, probably another vet. Corvette? I had a Corvette. I just sold it. Really? A Corvette? Yes. The car is disgusting. No, it's not. I have a CTSV now, but. <laughs> Cadillac, uh, it's kind of like disgusting too. Never. You got the old school Cadillacs, you know. No, those are legit I'm right now. I'm not here. pimping that bad. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. So tell me about your car and your lifestyle and how you do things. I hear you're a racer. Tell me a little bit about track. that. I do like to track my car. I stopped for a while, but I'm getting back into it. Um, this was my track car. Okay. I tracked a lot from, you know, in the early days when I first got it. And I just want to go back. I wanted to start doing time attack with it. So. Like, do you have like a seven second car behind us? An eight second? Ten second? I don't know what it is. I don't drag race it. I would never drag race my Evo. It's a, Why not? It's a strictly road race car. That's what it's for. Oh my God. If you put it on the track, you got to drag at least once or twice. Uh, maybe I'll do it once or twice, but I am getting a DSM, a 1G, so that may be my drag car. <laughs> Woo, not bad, not bad, not bad. So any future mods or future plans with your car behind us? Yeah, I'm going with the bigger turbo. Um, I'll probably get a red ball bearing next. Mm -hmm. um, but every, I have all the supporting mods. This car needs nothing to be a seven, 800 horsepower car. <laughs> Why stop there? Why don't you go for 1,000? I would like to drive it. It becomes undrivable once it gets to 1,000. <laughs> really? I thought it'd be just drive just fine. You just go fast as hell. I take my son in the car, so it's got to be like a little kind of low-key well, family car. <laughs> your son might be the next Ricky Bobby. That's probably, probably about it. I want to go fast. That's might what you want to hear all the time. He, he does? <laughs> How old is he, by the way? Five. <laughs> really? Five years old, loving cars. He got gasoline in his bottle already, don't he? That's crazy. <laughs> all right, we're moving over to our next interview. Can I get your name, sir? Jose. Can I get your name, miss? Sandy. All right, Jose, tell me about your car behind me, man. This uh, 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer, um, sponsored by Rotary Motorsport, mm -hmm. and um, team member I am Teddy Broom. So I don't know what else I can tell you. About. Okay, um, why a Lancer instead of an Evo? Uh, I don't know, man. Whatever, so whatever I can afford. Oh, what you can afford? Okay, that's fine, man. Monthly payments are scarce nowadays, man. I fully understand. So if you can afford an Evo, would you get one? Yeah. All right, cool, man. He's, man, he's a silent type. So, Miss, tell me how long you've been modeling. Um, probably like eight years now. <laughs> eight years? I've been doing it for a while now. Eight years? Yeah. And this is the first time we met? Yes. I was avoiding uh, you all day. That's so rude. Well, that is so I, rude. I'm you know what? With interviews. I don't, uh... <laughs> okay, fuck that. Okay. At what age do you think modeling should, you know, girls should just stop modeling? Um, I don't know. I don't think there should be like an age limit or an age... I think there is. I think there is. I'm not going to say anything, but I think you might be pushing that age limit. But what kind of car do you have? <laughs> um, it's not a great car. I'm trying to get a Mazda. A Mazda what? Uh, Mazda 3. Okay, Mazda 3. Are you just guessing right about now? Five door. Five door Mazda yeah, 3? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, man, he just bounced out this darn interview, man. Man, these they don't do interviews, man. These people are scarce, man. Get them back over here, man. Come back over here. Okay, if you're gonna have any car that wasn't a Mitsubishi, what would you get? The GTR. Oh, okay. Can you afford that? Shit, I don't know. Maybe in the future. Never know. Bro, you can't afford an Evo. What makes you think yeah, you're gonna you afford a GTR? Know, you never know. You never know. Okay. I'm to
All right, we're moving over to another vendor. Can I get your name? Jose. Can I get your name? Alex. All right, Jose, tell me about your company, man. Um, well, we're with Race Prodigy. Um, it's got an apparel company. Um, kind of, right now it's more focused towards like the DSM community, but we are looking to expand into kind of just like more of a just like a, a general just car, you know, type apparel company. I got you, more apparel. I, I feel you, I feel you. So what do you know about the company, man? Well, she dedicates a lot of her time on designing these shirts, a lot of details and everything. But uh, hit her up; uh, she she could design your car, the front of uh, the face, and have your shirt made. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have the front of your car, she'll put it in the front of your shirt, and with your Instagram name, who who wouldn't want that? That's fucking boss, man. But you know, I don't like throw out my Instagram name like that. I don't need no stalkers, man. You know, I can't afford those. Gotta get followers, some one way or another, right? Oh, yeah, you do have a point, man. You do have a point. How many followers you got, man? Uh, I don't like saying that. All right, cool. We're not even going to talk about that, man. So what is your part in the company, man? Um, I actually am just the booth car. That's it? Yeah. Nothing special? Nothing special. What, you have a part in the company? No. I'm just the booth car also. <laughs> man, y'all are broke, man. We got to get y'all some money, man. So what do you think you can bring to the company, man, besides being a booth car? It's a pretty face. All right, cool. What about yourself, man? What do you think you can bring to the company? Food. All right, food in a pretty face. You can't beat that, man. All right, we're moving over to the best tuning company that I've heard of, Tuning Technology. Can I get your name, sir? Name is Alfred Beltran. All right, Alfred, for the people who don't know Tuning Technology, tell me, tell the people about Tuning Technology. All right, so Tuning Technology is a company been been around since 2004. Uh, we specialize in all-wheel drive turbocharged vehicles, and we're located in Colton, California. Um, yeah, and that's what we do, man. We build fast cars. Okay. Now, tell me about these transmissions you have right in front of us, man. All right, so for 2017, we're actually expanding our uh, lineup of what we perform at Tuning Technologies. Uh, what you'll see here is an Evo uh, Lancer Evolution 10 transmission. We have a rear differential out of another Lancer Evolution Evo 89. And what we do now is we uh, have an in-house uh, transmission facility where we rebuild, upgrade, repair, do final drives, everything to meet the needs of our customers. Oh, man, talk about being awesome. So 2017, we're in the halfway point. So what you got planned for the end of the year? Well, you're going to have to wait and find out for that. So we have a couple things. Yeah, we got a couple things going on under wraps. But right now we're really trying to focus on, on laying the foundation uh, for the transmission stuff so that, uh, so that we can, you know, equip the race cars that we have and get it on the track and win some more races. What have you done to your car, man? Because we haven't seen your car out here in a minute, man. What have you done? Are you keeping it under wraps, man? No, no, no. I ended up, uh, I think we talked a little bit about last year, how we were expanding into the Porsche lineup. Mm -hmm. So we still have that car, the, the 996 twin turbo. So we have some things going on with that, a little ethanol, E85 upgrades, some injectors, turbo upgrades. So I think we'll be making some serious power hitting the streets. All right. We had to grab this spectator. I'm very sure you've seen him in previous videos. For everybody who don't know you, give me your name, man. My name is Oscar. Oscar. You don't have a Mitsubishi, man. Why are you here? Uh, just supporting the scene, trying to see how everyone's builds coming along, you know, just uh, taking a look at uh, old friends, new friends' builds. Okay, well, it's kind of crappy that you don't have Mitsubishi here. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's pretty sad. A lot of people keep asking where my car is parked. Oh, yeah, I'm very sure. So what happened to your infamous car, man? Uh, I sold it uh, earlier this year in January, and uh, the owner couldn't make it. Unfortunately, the car is no longer of existence, uh, but it's all right, uh, you know. We're going to keep coming out and supporting the scene. Okay, so what car are you going to come up with next, man? Uh, I just recently picked up a 2017 Infiniti Q50 Silver Sport. So Why an Infiniti, man? Uh, I don't know. I want something luxury with power. So Luxury and power. Luxury and power. I heard those are Evos. <laughs> Let's catch me outside. Yeah. Ah. Nigga, we already outside, bro. Get your ass whooped. But moving on, so what are you going to do with that Q, man? Uh, right now, I don't have any plans, but hopefully by uh, next year, we're going to start building. Probably just going to bag it, put it on wheels, simple VIP build, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy? Nothing too crazy. Because I'm saying your last build was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I, uh, it was I, a little bit too much. Yeah, it kept going and going and going. It was just way too much. Yeah, it was just, I had shit everywhere. Exactly. Like, I hated it after a while. <laughs> but I never told you that until now. I saw it on an interview. Don't worry. I saw it. All right, cool. As long as you yeah, saw it, bro, you know, because I don't hide from nobody, man. I'm, and I am outside. Yeah. <laughs>
We're moving over to another vendor. Can I get your name, sir? I'm John Mueller from Muellerized Incorporated. Now tell me about your company, man. Uh, my company has been around for about 15 years in the motorsport industry. Uh, we're pretty legendary for our automotive suspension products. And we set up cars for Mitsubishi research and design going back uh, since uh, early 2000s. Pretty much anything branded Rally Art that's a prototype uh, product we actually built in our facility in Costa Mesa, California for Mitsubishi Motors of America. So you've been around for quite some time. I've been in the car game since like 2001. I was roughly about 13. And this is the first time I'm hearing about you, man. I think we're missing something, man. What's going on, man? Uh, we do get out every, every now and then. Uh, uh, our company is a 2016 uh, Lotus Cup USA champion. And we're, we're uh, well known in the Evo circles as far as our automotive suspension systems. Mm -hmm. uh, where uh, we've won races in five different countries and we have shipped our suspension products to 20 different countries across, uh, across the globe. And uh, my family's been involved in uh, SECA uh, motor racing now for 53 years with a lot of success. And That's a lot of years, man. So we go, we, we go back. You need to get out more. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it, man. I, I really don't get out much, but I'm trying. So tell me about your suspension right next to us. Okay, what we've done is we've worked with, uh, with our team with Olin Suspension from Sweden. And we've introduced the suspension into the Evo market where our suspension on top is an inverted monotube suspension um, where it's uh, basically the, the best quality components including aluminum lower brackets, stainless steel tube, aluminum rear tube, completely adjustable for your evolution that we can configure to your taste and your driving habits and also most importantly your driving experience level. And so what it is to, to Muellerize a, a vehicle is basically make your vehicle fit you. Okay, and okay we, I like the sound of that. We, we do so with the adjustability that is built in every Olin suspension system uh, that we have made for your car. All right. So your price is real comparable? Uh, we're, we're really not a company where, where price is what you shop for. What you shop for is service. Uh, okay, it's the aftercare that you receive after you purchase your suspension and actually making it work for your use and at driving experience level. Okay, so compared to all the other top suspension, like, how, where will you rank yourself? Uh, th this is the best currently on the, the automotive aftermarket today. All right, we're moving to the beautiful side of tuning technology. Can I get your name, miss? Chelsea. All right, Chelsea, tell me what you know about tuning technology so far. Well, I know that they work on transmissions and drive trains, mm -hmm. and they are also uh, going to start working on my race truck. Your race truck? Yes. Tell me a little bit about your race truck. Uh, my sister and I have a race truck. Uh, it's a class one vehicle. We race in the Moore series. So it's a Mojave okay. off-road enthusiast. <laughs> How fast does it go? Over 100. Like 100 miles per hour? Yes, over 100 miles per hour. Like, okay. How many horsepower does it have? I'm not sure. You're not sure? More or less than 1,000. More. Okay, cool. There we go. At least you know some things. You don't have to know everything, but you know some things. <laughs> so what is your personal daily car that you drive all day? I drive a Mazda. Mazda what? Mazda CX-5. How fast are you going that thing? <laughs> like 80. <laughs> oh, my God. Not you, sure, you sure just 80? Most of the time. How many times have you been over 100? Only a few times. <laughs> uh, speed racer here. We got a speed racer here. How many speeding tickets do you have? None. Really? You get out your tickets with your cuteness, don't you? I try. <laughs> Women. Women. Can't even deal with them. So, are you doing anything? Does tuning technology you touch your personal car at all? Yes, they do. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how fast are you trying to get your personal car to go to? More or less than a thousand horsepower? More than a thousand horsepower, but I don't know if it's going to work on my little Mazda. <laughs> anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. That's all we got to know. Anything is possible. So, what's your dream vehicle? My dream vehicle? Ooh, probably Lamborghini or Saliago. Oh my God! Women in their Lamborghinis. Canary yellow. Canary yellow? Are you serious? Yeah. Out of all colors, canary yellow. Yeah. Well, not canary pink yellow. or purple or some no. a girl color. No, uh, not pink. <laughs> like yellow is like a guy color. But it's a nice color. <laughs> Whatever. Any special <laughs> shout outs? Um, I'll do a shout out to my fiance John. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, Beyonce John, how you doing, man? I didn't know she was married. I should never ask for a phone number. Um, I'm just messing with you, man. So, all right, we're moving over to the Eclipse. Can I get your name, sir? Holden. All right, tell me about your car behind me, man. It's a 95 GSX Turbo all-wheel drive Eclipse. All-wheel drive? Yeah. Why'd you go for the all-wheel drive? Why not? <laughs> Gotta get hey. that launch. <laughs> yeah, that launch is good, but, you know, some other perks about being rear or front, you know. Yeah. But we're not even going to talk about that. So <laughs> tell me what you've done to your car so far, man. Well, it's got a built head, forged internals. It's got the Evo 3 16G turbo. It's on E85 upgraded fuel tank and uh, filters. I mean, not filters, sorry, injectors. Okay. So. so you're doing it up pretty right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are you tracking it? What are you doing with it? Are you staying on the street? What are you doing? Just the street mainly, yeah. I haven't, I'm trying to go on, in San Diego, we have something called race legal. So it's like, it's kind of like a little track drag race. So I'm going to go to that once I get a new clutch because I still have a stock clutch and I can't really handle the power. So once I get... First thing you're supposed to change is the clutch, man. Why'd you do everything else? Because I blew my motor, so I just threw a new motor in. <laughs> Figured we might as well build up the motor while we have it out. <laughs> Sounds like a rookie mistake, man. You can't be making those mistakes, man. It's all good. But so after the new clutch, what else you got planned for your car behind us, man? Well, primarily a paint job because I don't know if you noticed, there's five different colors on it. But Yeah, we weren't even going to talk about that. But, you know, since you want to talk about it, why is it five different colors, man? Uh, just different parts being replaced, being fixed, just having gotten a paint job. So. Okay, I respect that, I respect that. I kind of embrace the look. I call it the Rainbow DSM. Hey, there you go, embrace the fuck out of that shit, rainbow it out, fuck it. Rainbow, yeah, I'll work with it. Yeah. So, out of San Diego, you came all the way up here from San Diego. Yes. Why? Look at it, Mitsubishi is my, my fucking love, dude. Love Mitsubishi, so. Okay, now if you weren't gonna have a Mitsubishi, what kind of car would you have? I think I would probably go with a Subaru BRZ. Get out. All right, cool. All right, any special shout outs, man? Uh, not really. All right, cool. Thank you for this interview, man. You kind of killed the interview with the Subi talk, but you have yourself a good one, man. Moving over to the premier tire brand, Nito Tires. Can I get your name, sir? Chase. Can I get your name, miss? Rebecca. Chase, tell me about Nito Tires, man. Oh, Nito is a great brand. Not only do we got the looks, but we got the high performance. So uh, visit nitotire.com. We got something for you. Okay. So what kind of car do you drive? Oh, I'm not going to tell you that. Why not? Because I'll embarrass myself. No, you won't. Go ahead. It's a Hyundai. That's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> That's a great car. Do you have Nito Tires on there? I, no, I will soon okay. when I need new ones. Okay, Heck yeah. cool. Heck Thanks, yeah. boss. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boss hooks it up. I got to need you as my boss. I need some tires, too. So, in your Hyundai, how fast do you go? No more than 90. No more than 90? Yeah. I feel like you might be lying a little bit. How no. many times have you been over 100? 
Too many. Too many times. See, I knew she was a liar. I knew that. Knew it once when I saw her face. <laughs> so, 2017, what have you came up with this year that people don't know about? Oh, we have the new Ridge Grappler. Uh, so for people with light trucks, it's uh, halfway between a mud terrain and an all terrain. So you get the looks, but you also get the off-road performance. Okay, what if you want? Uh, what kind of wheel would you recommend for me if I want to keep a low profile, but yet I want to go fast sometimes? Um, the uh, that one uh, Japanese wheel. I've, I, people even put them on their off-road vehicles. It's um, uh, you know the uh, Volk. No, not the wheels. We're talking about the tires, man. I need oh, the tires. Okay. I want to keep a low profile, and yet I want to grab the street at the same time. Well, we have uh, NTO ones here. You'll see a lot of them on the Evos. So, okay. Yeah. What are for questions? for somebody who don't have an Evo, what would you recommend? Oh, uh, you know, for your for your Honda uh, Civic or your Camry, you know, uh, we have a Motivo. So we got. Why the would you assume range. that I'll have a Camry, man? Do I look like a Camry driver? Okay. I can understand me being a Honda driver, but a Camry driver. <laughs> She can pass for a Camry driver. No. I'm, you you could. Okay, I'm yeah, saying you could. Yeah. You could. All right. What kind of car do you drive? A uh, Honda Civic. So. You drive a Honda Civic. See, you look like a Honda Civic guy. Now, what kind of tires do you have on yours? Uh, Motivos. Nitto Motivos. Oh. Okay. Then why would you recommend me something that's not Motivos? Yeah, you're right. You're a uh, Toyota Super Guy. Do I look like a Super Guy? I wouldn't drive a Toyota for free. <laughs> do not give me a Toyota. Okay. I, Toyotas are horrible. Okay. Okay. okay, but if you weren't driving your Honda Civic, what kind of car would you have? Um, actually, uh, the uh, the Mitsubishi uh, 3000 GT. I saw a great one earlier today. So you know, cherry red. That's that's what I go with. Why 3000 GT? What's that? Why? <clears throat> Why? Uh, Cause just it looks cool, and it, it wasn't in the Fast and Furious. It should have been, you know. So so I'll, I'll get in it. They'll put me in the next movie. Okay, so if you weren't driving your Hyundai, what would you be driving? Okay, only because I'm boring and I'm very pet friendly. There's this new Nissan X Trail. It's only released in Europe, I believe, but it's super pet friendly. The whole back hatch, it has special material for the dogs to lay in. And, um, so you're an animal lover, I'm guessing. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? Just one. She's a Belgian Malinois mix. What kind of dog is that? So like a cousin to the German Shepherd. I didn't know German Shepherd had cousins. We <laughs> I really didn't. I really same didn't. same Shepherd family, just different area, I guess you could say. Yeah. So why'd you get an outlandish dog like that? Why couldn't you just get you look like a poodle girl to me. Ew, no. Doesn't she look like a poodle girl? No. Uh she's uh very Dalmatian. Dalmatian? Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Okay, cool. I'll take that. She kind of looked like a teacup poodle to me to put in a little purse and stuff. That's what you kind of look I'm just messing with you. Yeah, you better. Yeah, yeah. she, she, she kind of buffed. She looked like she'd been working out. Like, yeah. like Her shoulders are amazing, though. Like, I need to get my shoulders I up. Know. I do some. This from dribbling a basketball for like half my life. Oh, you're a hooper? You used to be. I'm retired. You retired? Yeah. At a young age, huh? Yeah, retiring your prime. Okay, retire on top. Okay, you don't want to have the Brett Favre syndrome. Exactly. It's all good. It's all good. So, 2017 is not over yet. Tell me something new is coming out of Nito. Uh, well, we're, we're hoping to get back to our roots, um, go back over to the street, and hopefully uh, put out something new for our fans. We're keeping it moving with these Eclipse. Now, can I get your name, sir? Jonathan. Jonathan, tell me about your Eclipse behind me, man. Yeah, it's just a GST, man. From what drive, you know, everybody thinks it's a GSX, but, you know, I wish. I wish hey, but it looks badass, though, right? Uh, it's good. getting there, getting there, you know? Okay, tell me what you've done to it so far, man. Uh, just a big 16G, uh, you know, pretty much ball time. Hey, that's all you need to have the time to look good, man. Yeah, well, for, pretty much. <laughs> so what do you want to change performance-wise, man? Performance-wise, uh, I'm getting bigger injectors. I got DSM link, you know, the usual. Everybody, everybody goes with that. Pretty much up, about there for now. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah. So you got any big future plans with this behind me? Uh, maybe I'll go all-wheel drive swap on it because everybody thinks it's an all-wheel drive so i might go all-wheel drive to it hey you got to get that launch right yeah hell yeah man all right. all right so tell me what your obsession with dragon ball z man what's up with that man yeah it's, it's a pretty good anime show dude i like it i've been watching that since i was like 10 years old so yeah <laughs> you know, eventually you got to let it go man you can't be watching cartoons forever hey my wife doesn't mind so who cares <laughs> all right that's what i'm talking about man so how do you win anything do you win any trophies when you go out to shows man not really, man. I mean, actually, this is like my second time here, so okay. hopefully one day, you know. 
Hey, one day you're going to get it, man. One day you're going right, to get it. That concludes my 2017. It was a beautiful day, kind of hot, but we made it through. We got to see some beautiful cars. We got some great interviews. See you at the next event. Yeah.